Okay, this is 7216 Elite Court, and it looks real nice from the outside. The neighborhood's real quiet. It's down here in a cul-de-sac. You can hear somebody's music going over there. I'm not sure where that's coming from. But the house, the exterior, looks like it's recently painted. Uh, not, not immediately recently, but it looks like it's been well maintained and uh, the trim is, it looks like it has a fresh coat of paint actually. Real nice front door, brand new. Good looking door there. As we go inside, there's a nice high ceiling in here, probably, I don't know, 30 feet at least. And kind of a family room with the dining area. Nice, nice uh, chandelier hung from the very top. It's kind of cool. It feels like vinyl flooring, could be wood, but it feels like vinyl, uh, but it's textured and colored like brown wood. The staging really gives uh, some uh, scale, like a sense of scale. The original windows, so the windows were not replaced, but it looks like everything else in this kitchen was updated. The cabinets are a little bit off-white, kind of a gray. Uh, almost eggshell white but with gray instead of the pale yellow, the pale brown. This door is not new but it's fairly recent. Concrete under the awning here is painted but you got a cool deck surface next to the pool. The pool's rather small but it kind of fits in the space pretty well. The rest of the yard has rock. Let's see the shallow areas if we get a sense of the condition of the plaster. I don't see it really peeling away in a big way, but it's kind of got a weird texture to it. It almost looks like it might be intentional, like it's a non-slip kind of a texture. I don't think it's in any danger of starting to flake away in need of a big plaster project. I don't see anything like that. Exterior paint looks pretty solid to me. Windows are old, but they're in good condition, it looks like. Here's the pool equipment. You can always tell if it's had, it's probably had recent work because the older PVC is discolored from the sun and then you got the new stuff here. So usually that means there was a little leak going, which is very common. And then they updated, uh, did a little maintenance work on that. Uh, the portion that needed it. These are both recent machines, it looks like. Just straight cool machines. It's a little bit of an off-brand. These are real popular with um, uh, home warranty contractors. and They tend to be cheaper. They're not necessarily bad, but it isn't a premium brand. A cluster of trees over there. Threatening to take out the wall one day. Yeah, the root balls on those things will probably get into that cinder block wall uh, at some point. Doesn't look like it's doing anything to it now. And the interior wall is uh, textured with stucco and painted, which is kind of nice. The, uh, it's, not, it's a nicer look than the bare cinder block. Absolutely no traffic noise or anything like that here. Yeah, that's just the entry. Make a left from the entry and you got a full bath here, or call it three quarter, with the shower and a bedroom. The ceilings are high, probably nine feet ceilings, I'm guessing. And this is probably a 10 by 12 bedroom. That is a, uh, so I've pointed this out a couple times recently where they've got an interior door at the garage. This is supposed to be a fire door, like a solid heavy door. And you can see this hinge right here is a little different than this one and that one. Or sorry, the one in the middle is different. These are, this bigger spring, as opposed to that one, is got a, uh, or hinge, it's got a spring in it that automatically closes the door. That's a code. It'll come up on 
home inspections, and more importantly on the appraisals. So this is a solid fire door with self-closing hinges. And you can tell just by tapping on it usually, the interior door is really light and it'll just sit there. It doesn't automatically close. That's something to watch for because it does come up on appraisals. It will hold up your deal. It can be a costly delay for everybody. Got a gas water heater over here. This looks like it's new, very recent. Even the, uh, the flue and the plumbing connectors have been replaced, it looks like. There's a loop for a water softener, but it's not there. Insulated doors, and there's a motor on both doors, which is nice. So you got a two-car bay over here and a one-car bay there. I see them kind of a lot with a motor there and not one there, which is kind of uh, not the best. I'm not sure what's sticking through right there. It looks like it has wires in it. That might be some kind of conduit for something. Go upstairs. You got brand new um, carpet here. It feels like good, solid, thick padding. That's good. Laundry right at the top of the stairs. And it's not a lot of space here, but it's probably big enough for two like smaller machines. I'm trying to think of my machines, whether that would fit there or not. That's questionable. It's kind of a small laundry space. Here's bedroom number one, small walk-in closet. The higher ceilings are nice. These are probably 10 by 12, 12 by 12. By 12. <coughs> you get a view here, kind of facing south right here. A view of the cul-de-sac a little bit. Here's a full bath, looking good. Oh, look at that, the tile. It's white tile, but this is painted. I don't know if that's bad or not, but I would assume that the, the paint over time, unless it's special shower tile paint, it's probably gonna peel off of there. I don't know about that. Another bedroom, 10 by 12, 12 by 12, something like that. There's the master suite, a little bit larger. It's good, this one's probably 15, 16 by 18, 15 by 16, something along those lines. That's a king size bed fitting in here pretty nicely. Tile floor in the bathroom looks great. Everything shows really well, it's nice to look at. Big tub. Looking out over the neighbor's yard. The other houses in the neighborhood look nice and clean. I talked with the gentleman next door before I started the video. Really nice guy, retired gentleman, who pointed out what looks like some fungus in the sod that was laid out in the front yard. I'm not sure what it is. Maybe somebody knows. But anyway, there's like a big clump. Of, <laughs> it almost looks like dog vomit, but just a lot of it. And it seems to react to the sprinklers and makes colors and whatnot. Anyway, uh, is there fungus in the backyard? I don't know. But this is 7216 Elite Court. It's a really nice flip. Really great house in a good neighborhood. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a nice day.